In this video, we're going to be using Ariana and Evan's Grecian Horse and the Schick Extreme 3 Pivot Ball Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And as always, before we get into the content today, a word from my sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back. Let's get into it today. The soap for today is Ariana and Evan's Grecian Horse, and this is a head shave. So I'm not gonna give you all the details of the soap. I'm just gonna enjoy this shave. And I tell you what, this smells great. Again, I'm not gonna provide all the notes or anything. I will link it below for you, but just know it smells great. And it's great quality. I don't even know which version of the base this is. I think this is in the original Kaizen. It's good. All of Pete's bases are good, to be honest with you. It doesn't really matter which one you get. You're gonna get a good soap. It smells great, so I'm really looking forward to it. But today, what I really wanna focus on is the Schick Extreme 3 Pivot Ball Razor, which I got recently, and I have really been enjoying this. I've used it um, from time to time. And one of the things I've always liked about the Schick Extreme 3 Razor is the blades here, it's got some give to it. And let's see if I can demonstrate it here without cutting myself. You see how that presses in a little bit, like so? Like, literally, it flexes some. So when you're going around the um, curves and contours of your head, if you need to press down a little bit, that razor gives a little bit back and forth. It, it actually bends, and so it sort of sticks to your head, like a lack of a better way of explaining it. So with some razors that are very rigid, you know, the blades just aren't touching. But with this one, when you put a little bit of pressure on it, it can sort of, you know, mold to your head, lack of a better way of explaining. And I like the way it shaves. I like the pivot ball. They do have different versions of the Extreme 3. This is probably my favorite version. It does go from side to side. It pivots, you know, slightly this way as well, back and forth. But also the blade itself gives some, and I actually like that design and I think it works well. So without further ado, let's get into it today. And I hope you're having a great day. As you can see, there's some salt there. At least I hope it comes across on the camera. We need a head shave. We're gonna get one and we're gonna enjoy it. And I thank you very much for being here and spending this time. I got an amazing lather with the Ariana and Evans Grecian horse, as expected. You're, you should expect that from Ariana and Evans. I'm using, uh, the brush here is Turn and Shave. And man, we are looking forward to this one because I need a head shave and I need some relaxation and this is gonna do it. And I'm happy to be sharing the time with you all. And hopefully this will be fantastic. And it gives me a chance to showcase the Extreme 3 Pivot Ball, which I don't think I've ever used on video. I've used the Extreme 3, you know, a number of times in the past, I'm pretty sure. And I do prefer the, the Extreme 3 over the Extreme 4. I tried the Extreme 4 recently. I didn't like it as much as I like this one. I don't know. There's something about the Extreme 3 that I just like. And it, it's, a, it's a fun razor um, to use. If you're going to use a cart from time to time on the Dome Shave. And again, you know, my, my primary daily driver is the leaf, but I like to also experiment with these carts because I know there's a lot of you out there that use them on the dome, head shavers. And I like to see which ones I prefer. And I know a lot of people are curious about what I'm trying and using. And so, you know, we just try to, we try to sort of try a little bit of everything and see what works well and what works does, what doesn't work well, I should say. And we hope this will be a great one today. Let's wet the blade here. And let's get going around the ears, which is, of course, where I tend to start. And you know, some of that lubrication strip may break down. That's pretty common with blades nowadays. So if we get a little bit of spider webbing, which we had there, that's uh, it's just something that happens. It doesn't really interfere with the shave. Slightly annoying. You don't really need those lube strips, but no big deal. But I tell you, there's something about this razor. Because it gives a little bit, it feels like it's hugging your head, you know, when it's cutting very tightly, as opposed to a very rigid blade. And I rather like the feeling of it. It just feels like it's staying in good contact with my head at all times. And I like that feeling. 
it just it feels like it's cutting better and I have used I think this is my third one of these they come in a three pack and I, I got this one on Amazon but right before I did this video I didn't see them there so I'll link this on I'll just link the Schick website or something like that um, I really like using this one uh, it just feels good again it's not gonna replace my leaf because that's what I use the most but this one if you wanted to use a cart I think you could do far worse than this um, I'm going to continue to use this a couple of times a week just to see if I continue to be in love with it but so far it might be my favorite cart razor to use on the dome. For some reason, it just feels right, and that's the best way I can explain it. You see how it's sort of holding to my head there as I'm making the long stroke, and almost the entire blade is cutting at the same time? I like that. And I think, I think that's an excellent design feature. And it's working well for me. So let me know below. Have you used this particular razor? If you have, do you like it? So far, I'm liking it. Uh, I don't know how many shaves on them. Or excuse me, I don't know how many shaves I have on them. But, you know, I've used several of these now. Um, you know, during my travels off cam. And uh, I think it's a pretty doggone good head shaver. Very capable. Feels good, and you know, I could talk about this soap all day. I've talked about it before, so I won't talk too much about it today, but Ariana and Evans is a fabulous soap in terms of quality. Great scent on Grecian Horse. I absolutely love it. It is just a first-rate pro product, A&E generally. Um, and again, I know Pete's always coming out with bases all the time. But I'm going to tell you, any of his last four bases are all fun. Doesn't matter which one you get, Kaizen 2, Kaizen 2E, Kaizen 21, <laughs> you know, the old goat's milk formula. Um, any formula you get is going to be pretty good quality, in my opinion. And I've used enough soaps to know. Oh, that feels good, I gotta say. Um, that first pass, it felt really, really good. I do enjoy that razor. So let's uh, just wet the dome a little bit here. With the mister and i'll try to link everything i'm using today below or at least point you in the right direction um i always try to mention that because i always get questions in the comments where do you get this and i'm like well it's below <laughs> so you might have to press a little show more or a little arrow to see that section but it should be there for you brilliant soap here ariana and evans definitely one of my favorite brands to use it lathered easily it was not remotely finicky it does take some water so you have to put some water to it but it always does a great job for me it's it's definitely a favorite of mine and a favorite of many it's you know it's one of the biggest brands in the artisanal shaving world right now or i just say generally in the shaving world period because you know or at least in traditional shaving world let's put it that way it's a very good quality so it's Get a little more on to just get some of that creamy goodness going there. It doesn't really have to be, uh, there's there's more than enough slickness in here. So if I, if I don't have perfect coverage, it's going to be fine. You should shoot for it to be, you know, evenly distributed and all that kind of stuff. But it will be fine. No problem whatsoever. And let's, uh, let's get involved here with the second pass real quick. And I'll try not to keep you folks because I know you have very busy lives as I do. And right now it's it's quite busy for me with all that's going on with work and personally and and so on and I'm I'm just trying to keep keep it going. It is a challenge, but uh, I tell you, it's the only way I know how to do it. Just keep plugging, keep plugging, keep plugging, and I try to get maximum enjoyment out of the things that I enjoy. This being one of them, and I tell you, I'm enjoying this razor. Let's go ahead and get it over here around the ears again. I tell you what, this is, did you see that big long spider web? I don't know if that came across on the video, but that's that friggin' uh, the uh, lubrication strips. That's just the way these modern razors react now. It's just, uh, again, it's slightly annoying, but it's nothing to worry about. 
nothing that will affect the shave at all. I do like that, once again, when you apply just a little bit of pressure, I'm not advocating that you apply a bunch of pressure with this razor just because it bends. But if you have to push a little bit, it just, it just sort of molds itself to your head and it feels like it's just cutting all the time. And I rather like that. So when I'm making a stroke, I know that the full width of that blade just about is cutting rather than only part of the blade, as is the case, honestly, when you use a DE razor, um, when you're going around the curves and contours of your head, a lot of that blade isn't in contact. With this one, because it does give a little bit, it gives you a chance to get a little more of that blade in action, which, you know, I rather like. And so, for me, this is definitely a winner. And I have enjoyed using it a lot. It just feels really nice. And I know I've said that a thousand times in this video. I apologize. Man, the scent of this uh, Grecian horse. I wish I could uh, describe it for you in a way that would make sense, but just go look at the notes and see if it's something you might be interested in. It smells very nice to my nose. It's a very pleasing sort of scent. It's been a while since I've used it, and so I figured today we're having sort of a fun me shave where I don't have to do a bunch of preparation, you know, for the video. I said, hey, let's grab Grecian Horse and go to work. <laughs> and man, that feels nice. Excellent. So if you haven't tried the Extreme 3, this one is the Pivot Ball version. Um, give it a shot. And let me know, uh, if you do try it, let me know what you think. I always like to know what you folks are using and what you think uh, about it. If you try something that I try. And if you like it, if, I'm certainly happy that... You know, I could have been a, a little bit of assistance to you. It's always a good feeling to connect people with gear that they really enjoy. Because, you know, when you have a great shave and you're using great stuff and everything is just clicking, it's just a good feeling, you know. I tell you what, this has certainly been a, a good one today. We are getting what I like to call a level cue ball. And now I'm just going over some of my uh, tough spots and I tell you what it feels great there's not much left folks <laughs> it feels nice like not much required in the way of touch-ups here let's just feel around a little bit I tell you a little bit right here I need to work on where I just missed that that's no fault of the razor let's just wet it a little bit there's going to be plenty of residual slickness back there there he is and we'll touch that area up and man oh man what a beautiful shave I like this razor. Um, honestly, this is the best cart razor, uh, in my opinion, that I have tried for a long time. And I have used the regular Schick Extreme 3 in the, the past. Let's put a little more moisture up here. Just touch up a little bit. Um, but this one, sorry about that noise, with the pivot ball, I don't know. It just, it feels good. It's kind of fun to use. It's easy to use. It's like autopilot. You just feel... I feel comfortable using it. I don't feel like it's something I have to, you know, you should always pay attention when you're wielding any sort of sharp blade, but I don't feel like it requires, like, you know, the sort of focus that I, um, other razors might require. It's just easy going, so to speak. Man, that was excellent. One more little spot right here I need to work on. And once I get that, we are good to go. We are level Q ball. And bam, that is nice. So, <laughs> excellent. Excellent shave today with the Extreme 3 Pivot Ball. Again, I picked up this up on Amazon, but I don't see it there at the moment. So I'll link it on the Schick website. If you want to try it, give it a shot. I really like it. Of course, we use the Ariana and Evans Grecian Horse. Fantastic. I love Peter's soaps. They're just absolutely top rate. And Pete is a great guy. He's a friend. If you haven't tried his brand, I do suggest it. Um, it is really, really good. Once I rinse the dome, I'm going to use the splash shoe. We're going to be smelling good this evening <laughs> and just enjoying the rest of the evening. And I hope wherever you are, you are enjoying the rest of your evening. Evening, excuse me. I'm tongue twisted. I can't talk, and you know, I'm tired. It's a long. It's been a long day, but man, we've closed it out well with this shave. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB. Reminding you, it's your shave. Do it your way. And as always, God bless.